Hey everyone, it's John here from Hatsukaki, back with another video, and this video is going to be on Henrik Lundqvist and some potential landing spots for him, as he has just gotten bought out officially by the New York Rangers. I want to touch on a couple things here, obviously for just right off the bat, I want to say I have so much respect for Lundqvist and what he did over 15 years with the Rangers. It sucks that he didn't win a cup, straight up. It sucks. I watched this guy growing up, one of my favorite, I mean, just goalies, players, just individuals in this league in general uh, such a great goaltender I think you can basically lock up the Hall of Fame but I would love to see that cup from him and I do think he might get that opportunity if he doesn't retire so I want to go over some teams here if you're new to the channel please subscribe smash that like button and leave your thoughts what your thoughts are on Lundqvist where you think he could end up and just everything Henrik Lundqvist so let's go into a few teams here starting with the Capitals I think for any team in the Metro, it would be weird for Lundqvist to go there, but he has to think about himself in this situation if he wants to continue. This was the Rangers' decision to buy him out, and he obviously wanted to finish his career as a Ranger, but he's at an opportunity where I feel like he wants to get more done, and maybe he does retire, but I think he still wants to play this game and potentially win that cup, and the Capitals are in a situation right, right now where they have Ovechkin, they have Backstrom, they have these guys that still probably want to go on one more run, and Lundqvist, being in those later 30s and there's some guys here in their later 30s as well looking for another cup or looking for a cup Lundqvist is looking for that cup uh, the Caps could give him that uh, he could be a very good mentor for Samsonov uh, I think you're gonna see a couple other similar situations where I suggest but it would be crazy because of the Capitals Rangers rivalry but I think it's a possibility Avalanche I think this is probably one of the favorites uh, one of the more uh, favorable I would say matches for me. I just think, especially if you move on from one of Francis and Grubar, I think Lundqvist can join that tandem. And the Avalanche for me, if you look at that Western Conference, are one of those teams knocking on the door to be a Stanley Cup uh, winning team. So I do think Lundqvist would get that opportunity if he was to sign a one or two year contract uh, or sign a one year contract and then evaluate after that. I think he does get a legit opportunity with the Avalanche. Vancouver Canucks, I mean, they're one of the better up-and-coming teams, and a similar situation like Washington, he could be the mentor for Demko, and he'd be joining a team that I think is up on the up-and-coming, and I do think that Markstrom might move on. Again, this is contingent on if Markstrom doesn't re-sign, if he doesn't stay with the Canucks, Lundqvist could be that guy to tandem up with Demko. Philadelphia Flyers. Again, a situation where it is kind of a rivalry, I think... I think it would be t even tougher to go to Philly, but it's Carter Hart. You'd be mentoring a, one of the better goalies uh, for the future in this league. And the Flyers are a legit contender for me, especially if they can fill a couple of their holes. I think they're going to make a couple trades, maybe create some cap space, and you'd be getting Lundqvist at probably a very cheap cap hit. And to uh, be that backup, and if Elliott moves on, then uh, that could be an intriguing situation for Lundqvist. The St. Louis Blues. I still think the Blues are a contending team. I think, yes, they lost against the Canucks. They're going to make a couple changes, but Jake Allen's gone, and there's a hole there, and who knows if they even trust Bennington. So I think Lundqvist could go there. I'm going to go a hot take here, and this is probably contingent on if they're actually going to compete, if they're going to have a solid roster, and that's the Calgary Flames. So I do think Lundqvist could be a guy that comes in and... We'll see. I mean, does he tandem up with Riddick or what happens in that situation? But the Flames, for me, are still going to be a playoff team. But they're losing a lot of guys defensively. What's it going to look like? Is that forward group going to stick together? So the Calgary Flames, for me, are a huge hot take. If I'm going to the top five, it's the five before. Another couple hot takes or considerations, I would say the Golden Knights. Maybe. More just because I think uh, if Flurry leaves, Golden Knights are one of the better teams in terms of cup potential and I could see Lundqvist wanting to go there if there was an opportunity to win a cup and like maybe one of the southern teams or like a situation where like yeah if Dallas was to move on from Hudobin because he gets like outpriced like if he wants too much I mean or I don't know there's a bunch of teams like the Oilers but they still have a lot of holes to fill. Does he possibly tend up with Koskinen? Like, it's so tough to predict a Lundqvist situation right now because we don't even know if he's going to retire or if he's going to come back. My two favorites right now are most attractive would probably be uh, the Canucks and Avalanche. I just think in terms of moving away from the Eastern Conference, you're going to the Western Conference. 
I think both the Avalanche and Canucks, they it would be at least one familiar face. I think he is pretty familiar with Edler, as far as I know, and I think he's pretty familiar with Gabriel Landeskog. So, I mean, that's just a small aspect. But also, the Canucks from here on the up-and-coming, as I said, in the Avalanche are one of the more legit contenders uh, for next year already. So, I think those two, for me, would probably be the favorites. So, thank you so much. Let me know what you think where you think Lundqvist could go if he doesn't retire. And, of course, please subscribe, smash the like button, leave your thoughts. This was John from Monte Have a good one. Peace out.